losing you out of it, you have to keep going. I know you wanted a feel fresher. You said after uh, the match against Stuart, you were feeling a wee bit sluggish, hadn't had a great night's sleep. I see that the barn has been done. Yeah. You look, <laughs> you look good. Do you feel better? Is this, Not do you really. Feel a bit no, fresher, no, no, I feel really tired. I don't know if I might be carrying a virus. It just it always happens at this tournament. Last five years, this is the third time I've come in not feeling like, you know, like I feel a bit sluggish for some reason. I don't know, it must be the air or something. I don't know. Okay, but in terms of, of your season, Ronnie, this is it's amazingly consistent stuff, isn't it? Because that is what three wins, a runner-up, two semi-finals, and the events you've played so far. Yeah, uh, well, as you come in here, <laughs> I mean, this this is a great spell. I think it's only two defeats in what 30 matches now. How, how pleased do you feel about the way this campaign has gone, the way you've targeted it? I guess. Well, I haven't really gone in there with a plan. I just thought I'd just plan the tournaments that I fancied planning, you know, and thought, yeah, there we go. So there was no plan. There was no nothing. Really, I expected to be well, well down the rankings with the amount of tournaments I played, so I got, I got out of jail, really, but, you know, uh, it is what it is, and at my, my stage of my career, it's not so important, you know, when I, if I was younger, late 20s, 30s, then obviously I feel like, you know, I'd have to play just to, but at my age, it's just sort of like, just enjoy whatever sort of comes your way, I suppose. And, and in terms of working with Steve Feeney now, you're, you're doing the, the sight right thing, and there's been a lot of changes. In fact, I was reading a really interesting article, actually. He was talking about how Faldo had remodelled his swing, and he likened your progress with him at the moment to going through those changes and them coming to fruition. Where, where would you say you are in that process with Steve at the moment? Uh, I don't know. I've felt since Shanghai was a bit hit and miss. I can't remember the next tournament after that. Uh, champions, Champions played alright until the semis and then kind of was all over the show and then from after that match until I come here I felt like I've been curing really well mm. um, but for me it's when it all goes wrong how quickly can I put myself back together so this is the test you know what I'm saying like I've obviously not as good as I probably was at UK but like I said you know, very hard to analyse your own performance how many hours are you doing though Rob practice wise I maybe do like two hours maximum three probably three or four times a week Right. Um, I believe once you get to a certain age you can't really improve anymore um, I just think you just have to be a little bit more, I don't know, clever with how you kind of go about your preparation, I suppose. And, uh, do you, you know, when you're working with Steve Finney, is now your practice routine completely different than what it would have been beforehand, or is it much the same? Not really, you know, um, he likes a lot of my practice routine, so he's been picking up a lot of mustard. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's been learning off of me too. Um, <laughs> but no, you know, I just, uh, I just sort of just hit the ball and just, you know, it's either there or it's not there. You know, I don't believe in six, seven hours a day works for me. It might work for other players. But um, I, I, it's a bit like a race horse. You don't want to kind of over race it. You know, you want to get into the, or the John will tell you about race horses and yeah, dogs, yeah. you know, you have, to, no you have to... Leave, you, no point leaving it on the gallop. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you have to hold it back sometimes. I, I think that's probably what I... I tend to go on that side of preparation rather than trying to find stuff, you know. And where are you in this quest for perfect, for, for, I'll see if I can say it. <laughs> perfection? Because, you know, a few years ago you would have come in here and said, well, I wasn't at my best, uh, and it would have maybe irked you, it would have niggled at you, but well, mm, you, you feel calmer about that now? Uh, I don't know, I'll probably handle it a bit better, but um, I never believed perfection ex existed. I only wanted to, like, hit the ball solid, you know, and a lot of times I wasn't hitting the ball solid, so it kind of made me feel a little bit... Um, uh, vulnerable, if you like, even yeah. though I was getting results, you know, I still felt vulnerable inside. So that, that's what really used to bother me. Um, and, you know, it can affect your moods and stuff like that, you know, because I do actually love the game, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, so, yeah, that was what bothered me. But, um, you know, I've, I've, I've heard them all trying to analyse me, what they think it is, and I, and I listen to them. I just think, oh, you ain't got a clue. But, you know, I, I, I kind of laugh at it. You know, and I kind of find it quite funny, you know. I'm, I'm like the puzzle you can't work out, really. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. But um, th that's all the more fascinating yeah, for everybody yeah. who watches, I guess. That's the, the cachet and the allure of the way you play, Ron. Yeah. Um, we've got Luca Brissell or Ding Jun Wei. Will you catch a little bit about that? Or just I've been watching a lot of snooker, to be honest with you. I really have been, you know, I enjoy watching snooker now. You know, when you do this punditry sort of stuff, you do, you kind of get into it, don't you? Even, you know, even do you find I'm that relaxes you a little bit, you know, uh, when you're at tournaments, or, or is it more pressure? I, I can't do it when I'm playing, you know, yeah. I can do the odd punditry, but if I'm involved in the tournament, you know, these lights and that, it can, like, drain you, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you just, you know, you can only focus, you know, what they say, jack of all, master of none? I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather try and master one, and if that one don't work out, then I'll try and do the other one. So, well, with your pundit's hat on, then, what we're going to see tonight, who's going to who's going to come through that one, then? I've got a clue to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I like Ding's game, you know, you can't help but like yeah, Ding's yeah, yeah. game, you know, but Luca's like, you know, he's like, um, hello? She's waving at me out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Luca's like, like a, I don't know, he just comes from nowhere sometimes, you know, he's fearless, young, you know, he's like Judd, Trump, and... Kyron Wilson, they just they go for their shots, and if they go in, then you know, 
it's like you know you just got to hang on, isn't you? Sometimes, but things experience, but um, should be a good game. Yeah, I think. Sure. Well, yeah. okay. Regardless of what you do tonight, enjoy. We'll see you back here Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Well done. Sure, sure. Thank, Thank you. you.